I just spent the last six months posting 180 shorts for my personal brand and 99% of them are trash. But if I had to restart from scratch, there's three things that I would do differently. The first thing I would do is create an Ikigai chart. Now this is where I write everything that I love, write everything that I'm good at, write everything that I can give to the world and everything that I can get paid for. I just created this Ikigai chart recently because I felt like I was missing a little bit of passion in my content. Now, after reviewing all of my passions, I literally wrote everything down. I found out that I wanted to talk more about films and movies because I love cinema. My point is doing this activity will give you so much clarity as a content creator. And matter of fact, it will help you to actually stay consistent. Matter of fact, I guarantee you will stay consistent if you have an Ikigai because your content will mean so much more to you. That's why you feel the urge and the motivation to host it and share it to the world. The second thing is volume. Edge of Tomorrow teaches us an important lesson volume and repetition. The main character, Cage, is stuck in a time loop in the middle of an alien invasion. Every time he's killed, he wakes up the day before in the exact same spot. Pretty annoying. Cage is forced to repeat the same day again and again, but then he eventually comes up with strategies and patterns to fight through the alien invasion. And pretty much win the entire war. So creating content starts with putting in your reps. Post as much stuff as you can, and I'm being serious, like Literally. As a beginner, you don't have to worry about quality because it comes naturally. Improvement comes naturally. Just like Cage and how he stops caring about dying over and over again. Like he just got sick and tired of it. This will help you come up with your own strategies and patterns to grow your social media. I grew my clothing brand to over 200,000 followers across Instagram and TikTok. So this is what I would do. Post a ton of content. Number three is authenticity. I would be a lot more authentic in my videos because my biggest mistake in my earlier days of creating content on YouTube was not being myself, not being who I really am. And when you go back and watch my early videos, like you can tell, you can tell that I was putting on a fake persona and more than 50% of all of my 180 plus shorts were not even me. I was not showing the real Ken. And that's why I started being myself in my recent videos. I used my own language. I used my own way of communicating and I was just being human. <laughs> Three A's, authenticity, attracts, audience. If you want more branding tips like this, you can join me in our daily Zoom calls inside my private school community. It's in the link in the description. I'll see you next time.